Hey, what's going on folks? Michael here with Primal Edge. And in this video, I'm going to address yet more questions about bed leveling on the Anycubic Cobra Max. Now, recently I did a video showing you how to fix a leveling problem manually if you're having an issue where your prints are either too thick or too thin on the left side or the right side. And I'm going to go ahead and link that video in the description below as well as in the card up here if that is in fact your problem. I've had a lot of great feedback on that video. A lot of people have said that it's helped them quite a bit but there's other problems that I'm getting asked about. More specifically, the front to the back, meaning that their left to right alignment is just fine, but it's the front and back that's causing an issue. So I did a little research and looked around and found that in my opinion, the most likely culprit are these arms right here. The Anycubic Cobra Max comes equipped with two of these, one on either side, and they do more than just provide stability. They actually provide alignment. If you notice right here, there's a way to adjust these arms. So in order to fix the problem, what you'll end up doing is taking this wrench right here, cracking loose this lock bolt, which all it really does is make sure that the unit won't vibrate loose during all the prints. When that's done, you'll take your three millimeter Allen wrench, unscrew this bolt right here. Now I don't intend to unscrew mine. I've got everything tuned in perfect and I'm very happy with the results. I don't want to jinx it and mess anything up. Once this is done, you can either tighten or loosen this eye bolt in order to help pull the frame forward or backward. When you're done, you'll tighten up the lock nut again, put the bolt back in with the three millimeter Allen wrench, tighten everything up and go back in and make sure everything is tight and snug. Now there's a similar adjustment down below, but I very rarely find that you'll have to adjust both of, those, both of these things. But do make sure that that bolt on the bottom is tight. They will vibrate loose after a while and it could affect your prints. Now you're gonna to have to play with whether you need to pull yours forward or backward, depending on what your particular issue is. If you find that you're getting a tight fit in the front and it's really sandwiching down and mushrooming down, what you're gonna to wanna to do is pull back on the frame. And the way to accomplish that would be to tighten that eye bolt. What that will do will be pull it back and give it a little bit more space in the front so you don't have any more of that smooshing going on. But keep one thing in mind, if your left or right alignment is perfect, you're gonna to wanna to have to adjust both of these adjustment arms the one on the left and the one on the right. And you're gonna to wanna to be sure to count however many turns that you do. If you turn three times on one side, you're gonna to wanna to turn three times the same way on the other side. That way both of those arms get pulled back equally and everything moves in unison. Now it might not be that simple. You may have to adjust one side over the other side depending on your particular situation. But using the tips I gave you in the first video, along with these tips right here, you should be able to align your bed and get perfect results. I know that mine has been amazing ever since I got everything dialed in. I'm so impressed with this machine. I went and bought a second one and these things are running nonstop pretty much all week long. So again, keep the questions coming in. If you find use for this, comment down below, let the community know what's going on. If you have more questions, by all means, ask me down there. And if you liked the video and found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. The algorithm loves that. If you like this kind of content, absolutely consider subscribing to the channel. And if you really like this content and wanna see a whole lot and would like to support the channel, you can always join me on Patreon down below. Thanks a lot, folks. You all have a great day and I'll see you soon.